Sure, you were part. You'd watch the Love Boat Fantasy Island combo. Oh yeah. It was like a Friday night Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Yeah. No kidding. He was like, what? Barbie Benton again this week? <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of Barbie Benton. I caught an awful lot of love. Charo. Boat. Yeah, I don't know how many oh, times Charo. Bert Convy took that cruise, but he certainly was a fixture. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're out at USAA, and uh, they are hard at it this morning because they've got their STEM kids here for their kid turnship. Now, these kids, older. I don't know how many years this guy's been held back, and some of these gals look like they're probably third semester sophomores. But uh, we've got the younger ones down here, and we've got Gay Meyer with us. And Gay, this is a lot of fun. This is year Good three morning. for yeah, you, this right? This is the, the third annual kid turnship for USA. And uh, what's the goal? What are you trying to teach these guys? Our goal is to bring awareness to, uh, to the children about STEM programs, mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, math. Yeah. Well, I love the way STEM has really... Uh, made that sort of learning, which can be kind of tough, uh, it's made it so much more fun. I mean, never was I turned loose as a kid with a plate full of marshmallows and uh, toothpicks. But if, speaking of that, let's find out what these young ladies are up to. Girls, I hate to interrupt, but uh, give me now, what's, what's the goal here? What are we trying to accomplish with what's on your plate? Oh, uh, we want to use the big marshmallows to get a, a base, at least, for our bridge so that no one falls when they walk. Oh, so there's the bridge. That's yeah. essentially what we're uh, after up there? Yes. Well, uh, you know, if a monkey can do it, I've got high hopes for, for everybody in the room here. Um, pretty impressive. So how much, is there a time limit for this, uh, oh, by I the don't way? know. Do you guys have a time limit? Ten minutes? Oh, Ten minutes. I'm wasting most of your prep uh, period here. Well, you get, uh, you get back at it. So this... What are, you, what are you hoping will be the end result for these kids with this kind of, of uh, introduction to STEM? Where do you see them headed? So the children, there's 24 children in the room. They are the employees of our IT uh, staff here in the Phoenix office. You mean children so of those employees? Children, yes, children right. of those employees. Mm -hmm. Our goal is that they will become more aware of careers in the technology field. I oh, mean, gotcha. Ultimately, we'd love for them to come to work for us. Sure. Uh, and then as they go to college, to help them understand what these careers are about. Mm -hmm. Well, I see we've got a lot. Oh, see, now this is what I could never do. They're already hard at work over here, and this uh, team down on this end really seems to... Oh, boy. You seem like you've got this nailed, you guys. Now, uh, how do you test this out? Do you have like a guinea pig or a gerbil or a rat or something that has to cross it? I don't know. I would like that. Yeah, if you guys could track down some kind of a rodent that could actually test the, uh, uh, the structural stability of these marshmallows and toothpicks, that's a really cool look. All right, well, next, well, we've got more coming your way from uh, the STEM gang at the Kid Turnship here at... USAA and uh, look look at all the purple shirts yeah they're the ones who make your USAA policy hum that's right they love their veterans here more coming up yeah, in just a couple sure minutes do. insurance headquarters in Phoenix where kids are getting a lesson in science and math yeah. take us home core yeah, we're here for the kid turnship competition at USAA. We've got a lot of smart kids over here with their project. Come up to the front here, son, right over here next. Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll kind of head down the row. And, Jen, you, you're, you've been running the show here. They all seem to have achieved a pretty similar look. Yes. They, did, they seem to have followed your directions so they, far. They did so far. Now, I'd have to come by with a ruler for each one to see that mm -hmm. they actually met the requirements that I gave them. Lucky for you. Oh. Brilliant. Okay. I've got so, one right here. Now, how, what, was the, what was the height requirement? It had to be at least three inches. Okay. Okay. And then it must be no more than 12 inches from end to end. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, well, this, so, this could be trouble right here. Yeah, this could be trouble because... You, you know, know how I would solve that? I just do this. I'm like a magician, really. There, <laughs> there we go. There, suddenly. Okay. So... You're welcome. We're, You're we're welcome. The <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and of course, that's uh, following instructions yeah. is a, is a big deal. Now, take a look at this one where they did Very some extra nice. detail. They actually made pedestrians oh, to look. cross the bridge. Yes. Jenna, and, this is an amazing likeness. Yep. Wow. Looks just like you. Long in the neck, like me. <laughs> That's I, that was one of my big things as a child. And great color choices. Yeah, too. very nice. Yep. You actually filled in your walkway. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the goal of today's event is. I guess to stimulate even more interest in the technology yes. industry, right? Yeah, that's right. Because you know it's it's not a given that kids even now know 
what opportunities are out mm -hmm. there for STEM. And while you may know in theory, um, seeing this in practice, and this is something that we're going to be getting uh, throughout the day with the kids. Got Ten seconds. Mm -hmm. um, is is really important. So they see what it looks like in real life, and then they can explore. Well done. All right. Well, pick your prize, everybody. Tic Tac. I know it's not much. It's a participation prize. You can. You have to share them. You have to split these. USAA doing good work.